Greetings to all who are watching us. Here's July 24th News Digest from Militarny. Moscow attacked by drones in the early morning of July 24th. Explosions were heard in several districts of Moscow. A drone attack on the capital of the aggressor state is reported. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin said that at about 4 a.m. local time on Monday, drone strikes on two non-residential buildings were recorded. The Ministry of Defense of the aggressor state said that Ukraine had allegedly tried to strike objects on the territory of Moscow with the help of two unmanned aerial vehicles. According to them, electronic warfare was used to counter drones. In Crimea, explosions reported at an ammunition depot. On Monday morning, explosions occurred at a Russian ammunition depot in the Jankoy district of the occupied Crimea. The attack on the ammunition depot was confirmed by the Russian occupation so-called authorities. The explosions were heard near the village of Vesele, 15 kilometers from Jankoy. There is a military airfield, which is not currently in operation. Traffic on the railway in the Jankoy district and the Jankoy Simferopol highway was suspended. In addition, the occupiers decided to evacuate the population from nearby villages within a radius of five kilometers to temporary accommodation. Two S-22 Bodana self-propelled guns moved to Tatra chassis Ukrainian. Made two S-22. Bodana self-propelled guns switched to the Tatra T-815-7 chassis with the wheel formula 8.38. The artillery installation on the new chassis is in service with the 1st Special Purpose Brigade named after Ivan Bohun. The concept of the two S-22 Bodana self-propelled guns on the Tatra T-815-7 chassis with an armored cab was presented at the IDEX 2023 exhibition in Abu Dhabi. This concept is usually called Bodana 3.0 and the version on the Maz 6317 chassis, Bodana 2.0. This chassis is used on the Ukrainian Bura V MLRs and the Neptune Coastal Anti-Ship Complex. In addition, these chassis are used with Caesar and Atmos self-propelled guns. Subscribe to Militarni to know more.